How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways you can install WordPress, one of which is going to be obviously using the auto installer with Hostinger, which makes things super easy. And I'll show you guys the other way, which is the manual way of uh, installing WordPress through the website itself. And I'll show you guys how you can kind of uh, do the whole thing and install it through your web hosting provider. The web hosting provider I'm using today is going to be Hostinger, which is definitely a web hosting provider that makes things very easy. And for me, I prioritize ease of use and value for the money. And I do get a lot of value for my money here, even if you're using the basic share plan, I'm using the premium share plan, which is a great plan that gives me a whole lot of bonuses and features and just a lot of things for the small price of a cup of coffee a month. So it's great. If you guys are interested in hosting or whether you want to check your whether you want to look for a review or a discount code, you'll find all that in the description down below. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Let's say you get yourself hosting or right here. All you want to do is go to hosting and click manage. And this will take me to the dashboard. Um, and it's called the H panel right here. There's no C panel. H panel tends to be quite a bit easier than uh, the C panel. And you can also switch to the old dashboard. This is the new dashboard. So if I click here, you'll notice that this is the regular dashboard that um, you're used to. If you've seen hosting or before, this is the regular um, dashboard. And okay, so now all we need to do is go to the auto installer right here and click. And once you click here, it's going to take us to the auto installer. At this point, all I need to do is click WordPress, put in the website name, let's say just, you know, sample site, click next and click install and you're good to go. Now I've already installed that, so I don't need to install it again. So let's just go ahead and close. So this is the first way, as you can tell, it's super easy, it takes just a few minutes to get it done. And that's the way I would recommend that you install WordPress, uh, you know, use a reliable web hosting provider that gives you all of these options that save you a lot of time. Now, if you prefer for whatever reason to install WordPress yourself, uh, then no problem at all. Go to wordpress.org forward slash download, download the WordPress right here. This is the file. And once you download it, you're going to have this file right here. So you're going to have the zip file. And what you want to do is just simply extract it and put it outside so that you can have it ready. We're going to need it later. Okay, so I'll put this to the side. And uh, let me show you guys what to do next. Now, before we begin this installation process, I want to make a few things clear. First of all, make sure your hosting plan meets with the WordPress system requirements. So PHP version 7.4 and above, MySQL version 5.7 plus, or MariaDB 10.2 and above, and HTTPS support. Now, of course, with Hostinger, all of these are covered, and you can always talk to their live chat support. Once you sign up with Hostinger, you will have access to the live chat support available right here. So now that I've downloaded it, all I need to do is upload the website files from the extracted WordPress. So right here, this is the file. I'm going to have to upload it into the public HTML file using Hostinger's file manager or an FTP client like FileZilla. So since I'm using Hostinger, let's go ahead and just show you guys. So all I need to do is go down to files. Here we have file manager, we'll click on file manager. And by the way, if you're using an FTP client, you want to find the create a new FTP account section on your web hosting account control panel. In this case, it will be right here. So FTP accounts, but I don't need to do that since I'm using the file manager with Hostinger. So now that we have the file manager right here, just keep it on the side, we're going to get back to it in just a little bit. And to proceed with manually installing WordPress, we need to create new MySQL credentials. So again, back to your H panel right here. And we're going to go all the way down to right here so that we can create the MySQL credentials. We're going to click on MySQL database. I already have two databases because it's already installed. But what you want to do is type in your database name right here. So, you know, whatever it is that you want. So sample site and make sure to copy the MySQL credentials complete with the alphanumeric string. So copy everything right here, just take a screenshot of it and keep it for later because we're going to need it. Okay, now we're going to need to configure wp-config.php, which is a configuration file that lets WordPress know your database server settings. It is made specifically for you. 
And all you need to do is follow the following instructions. We already have the file manager open right here. So this is when we're going to need it. You're going to have to expand this part right here. Public HTML. OK, we're going to open it. And once it's open, you're going to look for that WP config sample PHP. So right here, you're going to right click and rename and simply remove the sample part right here. Delete it. And this is what you want right here. Simply WP dash config dot PHP and click rename. Now, of course, for me, it's already there since I have already installed uh, WordPress. So as you can tell, it is right there. And let's say this is it. You're going to click edit. And once it's open, you're going to go down right here. You have the name, username and password. And by the way, just in case you were wondering why I haven't uploaded this part right here, if you didn't upload these, I already have them uploaded because I installed WordPress already. But the first thing you want to do is clearly just upload uh, this file right here and throw it onto your file manager. But what you want to do is upload it into your public HTML file and then do what I'm doing right here. So keep that in mind if I haven't mentioned that already. It's just that I already have everything uploaded uh, and I don't need to do that because I use the auto installer. Now remember the credentials that I told you to take a screenshot of, you're going to have to put them right here. So you're going to put the alphanumeric right here and then the uh, name and the same thing with the username and then you just put in the password and then save and close and that is pretty much it. And once you're done with that, you simply want to type in your domain name in a browser to proceed with the manual WordPress installation. Or you can simply open a new tab and type this in right here and you'll be able to select the language, then create a new site title for your website. Set the WordPress username, password and your email, which will later be used to log into your WordPress admin dashboard and then click the install WordPress button to finalize the process. Of course, I won't be able to get anything if I type this in because my WordPress has already been installed. And that is pretty much how you install WordPress. It's as easy as it gets. Now, if you don't want to go through this whole process again, you can simply just go through uh, the auto installer and have it do the whole thing for you, uh, which is why I really like uh, Hostinger because it pretty much gives me the option to one click install everything without having to do any of that. But I thought I'd just give you guys both ways in case you want to uh, manually install WordPress. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in Hostinger, you'll find the link in the description down below. That'll give you a little bit of an extra discount. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can definitely try out Hostinger for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. And of course, you'll find a link in the description down below if you'd like to check out the full review if you want to learn a little bit more about Hostinger. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.